haven't seen John Luffy's a fiddy. Come on, you're best friends. You should know about them, though. Actually, you know, I went to see Mr. Poole about the exam. You should know where they might go this time. You mean? Yeah, they told me they're going there. Oh, I see. Actually, I thought they'd keep their promise. But forget their promise. They won't quit smoking until they get caught. All right, Dan. Uh, carry on. See you next lesson, all right? All right. See ya. Hey, I'll keep my promise though. I'll play for England sooner or later. Best of luck, all right? Cheers. got one as well. Pooh, it's a pen knife. My one's bigger and more dangerous. Fuck you. A knife is a knife. Even that one's fucking enough to fuck someone's fucking life off. True. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much it costs either. See, I'm smarter than you two. I spent not a single penny on this and I brought it from our kitchen. Free. 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 What's so funny? I don't understand. <laughs> It's free, isn't it? Come it's free. Yeah, free. Where the hell are you going? You've all gone crazy. I hate you all. Oh. Say you want us to be chicken like you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I can't even believe you're a friend. Even Petra, she has one. She's a girl. And you are? You know what she almost did the other day? <laughs> she almost stabbed her teacher out of <laughs> anger. <laughs> <laughs> Petra, damn brave hot girl. Oh, oh I'd love to see with her. <laughs> While our friend Paula, she acts like a soft ping pong girl. <laughs> Better sleep with her. Hell, stop joking. <laughs> all right. You're all getting crazier day by day. Carrying knives is your fashion, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just ours, it's everyone's. Apart from you, though. <laughs> We want to be men. We are men, okay? Yeah, not yeah. some ping pong guys. Yeah, like guys, we'll fuck him up. Tell him it's right. When I'm with a knife, I feel like a tiger. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Not a tiger, a lion. Damn fucking lion. Anyone wants to come? Come on, come on. I'll fuck you up and send you all up to hell, asshole. Which way is hell? No, 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 it's down. I think it's down, no, it's down. 
Up or down, up or down. Uh, I don't know. Which way is hell? I'm going to send you there soon. <laughs> wow, you're a good actor, I see. Yes, I am. We want to be real brave heart. We want to be real gangsters. <laughs> we got to attack, attack, attack. Protect, protect, protect. Attack, attack, attack. Protect, protect, protect. Come on, join me. Attack, attack, attack. Protect, protect, protect. Attack, attack, attack. Protect, protect, protect. You're worse than the British weather. Him as well. Next week it's his birthday. Remember last year, you were busy planning for it. And this year, you want to kill him. Damn. Hey, if you want to be a teacher, go to any school and teach. There are many fucking schools in Luton. Don't fucking teach me, okay? Calm down, John. Calm down, please. This is too much. Hey, you fucking calm down. Please, I need to talk to you. What? Why? Come on, it's important, please. What the hell's going on? What are you Come on. on. What is it? Come on, it's really important. Just tell me what it is. All right. Just calm down for a second, okay? Why? I think you better leave this place. Now. Why? John just called me. He said he's sworn to kill you. Is yeah, that... he told me as well. He said. You were lucky this morning, Dave, who got his knife. You got a knife then, but now he's got a knife. Tell that fucker to come. I got a knife as well. I cut it into pieces like a butcher chops me. Nafis, I think you better settle the matter with John. You know his temper. Fucker, you think I'm a chicken like you? He can insult my rights to get away with it. Bullshit, I'm not taking for that. Calm down, please. People are watching. And what? I don't give a bit shit about anyone. But you started it. Why'd you talk about Mina's ass? You know she's his girlfriend. The only reason you care about Mina in the first place is because she's a Bengali. That's how you think. Well, I'm not like you, okay? Oh, uh, like what, huh? Like what? Calm down, man. You just hit Polash. Fucking hell. I'm sorry, Polash. You know my temper. I'm going to your toilet. You want to come? Yeah, all right. I'm sorry, but wait a minute. So you, you ain't gonna stop that either? Sorry, I, I did try.
you fucking bitch! Mina is my girl, if you like it or not. Do you understand, you motherfucker? Polash will be alright soon. He is so scared of outside since last incident. Always he's at home. To me he's totally lost all the time. Ahmed, he's my only hope. You tell me, how can I bear this pain seeing him like this? Don't worry. His situation isn't that bad. I talked to him about this. Basically, he can't forget Freddy's death. It's locked in his brain, which gives him nightmares. But I'm sure I'll be able to help him not to think about Freddy all the time. I believe it. Trust me. Come on, Razia. Come on. Don't you know that I am a famous psychiatrist? Hmm? <laughs> Listen. Life never runs the same way all the time. Do you understand that? But, but my life. What is your life? Hmm? Life. Eight million people die each year because they are too poor to survive. Is that a life? Thousands and thousands of women have been raped during various wars. Is that a life? Thousands of parents lose their children in the crazy wars of the world. There are plenty of examples that I can give you. You can give me as well. Am I right? Look, look, Razia. Your son is still alive. But think about Freddy's mom. She has lost her only son. Think about the pain she is going through. Don't worry, Polash will be all right very soon. I will take care of him. Trust me. Yes.
Balash. How do you feel about this place? It's beautiful. Thanks for bringing me here. Look. Look at that. How nice. You look better today. Yeah, I can feel it. Thanks, Uncle. Thanks for your effort. Look at that. Let's go that way. Feel the nature, Kolash. You will feel fresh. We can really learn a lot from this type of place. It teaches us to be calm and gentle. It stands to comfort others. You know, mankind is a part of nature. The more mankind tries to get away from the nature, the more unhappy they are. Shamefully enough, this generation doesn't come to such calmness. Rather, they are busy with many eccentric events. Oh, fuck this man! I can't find anything! I'm dying! I'm fucking dying! I'm empty! Fucking empty we are! It's a motherfucking chest, man! Watch out, bro! What? Someone's gonna kill you. Why are we standing? Let's get the fuck out of here! Don't blame yourself, Polas. You are innocent. Why do you think that Freddy died because of you? You tried to save Nafis, didn't you? Otherwise, he could have been killed. And you would have felt the same pain for him too, right? Listen, Polash. Freddy's death wasn't your fault. As a matter of fact, John and Nafiz are responsible for that. They both have received prison. Do you know that? How is prison life, Uncle? Prison? <laughs> yes, I have been in prison several times to see passions. But that doesn't mean that I can absolutely feel the pain of a prisoner. I may feel a little. Well, of course, it is painful. When you are locked up in a prison cell, you do not have any freedom. Some people say, this is the hell of the world. It must be painful. John and Nafis will suffer a lot, won't they? They need to. Do you think they'll change after this? Some people change. Some don't. I hope they will. Look, they're so free, aren't they? Fucking hell, you watch a motherfucking birds when we're dying. Oh, Give us everything you know, we've got. Stand listen, up! Listen, we ain't got time! 
Get up! 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 You say anything to anyone, Polesh, I swear I will kill you. Remember, you know me. Polesh, it's okay. Take it easy.
Steve's been killed by Dunstable boys. What? What did you say? Steve's dead. He's been killed. Shit, man. When? It happened this morning. Fucking shit, man. Look, John's called a meeting tomorrow morning at 10, so you better be there. Right, I'll be there tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow morning then. All right, see you then. Okay, bye. Shit, man. Fucking shit. Not bad. Um, what drink? No oh, thanks, I'm fine. So, what's the news? Um, no news. You said it was really urgent to see me. Yes, it's urgent seeing you. Am I not seeing you now? Um, my dad really appreciated your writing. Have you sent him that? I was only rough, I just wanted you to have a quick look at it. I didn't really want him to read that rubbish yet. Don't worry, seriously, my dad is a writer too. He's one of the greatest writers in Bangladesh and I've told him what stage your novel is at and he understands and he really liked it. See, he's like my best friend. I like to share everything with him and I wanted him to have a read of it. But you're right, I should have asked your permission so uh, I am I am sorry, I, I should have asked no, you. don't be sorry, it's okay. It's just, I just hope that we could have sent him like a polished and finished version, you know? But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, like, a great writer like your dad could actually take the time out to read my stuff. Oh, don't worry about that. People of Bangladesh have plenty of time. Really? How come? Um, you know what? I, I think I'll explain that to you another day. Again, some other day. <laughs> I'll call you Miss some other day from now on, shall I? No problem. So, how far have you got with your novel? Is it finished yet? Not yet. Well, Dad did say that it will be a very powerful novel when it is finished. How do you think it will end? I don't know. I don't know how. Is there really an end to all of this? Sorry about that. Fuck. Fuck, I'm really burning inside. Calm down, Max. Chill. Listen, put some ice water over you. Calm yourself down. No. I just want to see the streets of Dunstable running red with blood. Calm down. We're getting back soon. Do you not trust us? We always win. Hello, Duke. Yes, mate. <laughs> nice one, yes. Yeah, no, 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 don't, don't kill him. No, wait for our order. Wait for our order. They got Jack. Yes. Yes. Nice give me the order. Just give me the order. I want him dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort it out later. Let's go see our talented friend first. Let's go see Polash.
The fees. You've changed a lot. Happy, I yeah. recognise you. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, good. good. Got John in the car. John? Which John is that? Oh, John. Oh, John, serious? Yeah. I can't believe that. Have a look. Get in the car, bro. You alright, mate? Wow, you change a lot. Yeah. Hardly recognise you. You look so rich. We are rich. Yeah. <laughs> Nafizi didn't tell me you were coming along. I'm actually surprised to see you two together. Oh yeah, we're still mates. So relationships not like the British weather no more though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we want you to join us now as well. Really? Yeah. This is an expensive car. Who is it? Oh, so as we do business together, so we share everything. Except girls. <laughs> is Minna still with you? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, 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 this is Maxine. Maxine, this is Polash. Polash, Maxine. Hi. Hi. So what are you guys up to nowadays then? What we up to? Tell us what we're not up to nowadays. <laughs> Hey, Polash! Oh, come on, guys, I can't see anything. Why have you blocked my sight? You'll see in good time. There's nothing for you to see. Now. Just enjoy the ride, relax. This is too much, the fees. I didn't want to see you, right? You called me, and now what the hell's going on, man? Polash, relax. We're your mates. We're just in school. Me, you, and John go a long back. No, we, John. Yeah, enjoy the ride. And we forget that we just don't want to see where we're going, right? It's for your own safety. We get there. We're not going to kill you or anything. Relax, yeah? Me, it's me, Nafiz, me, your mate. Well, what, you know, what do you want from me? What can I do? Once we get there, if you accept a proposal, everything will be fine. Just enjoy the ride and chill. This is too much. This is insulting. Hey, you're a fag. I don't smoke. John? Yeah. You know, you two guys here have just gotten so much worse than before. Oh, come on, mate. We're just right for this world. You know, Nafiz. Well, uh, gosh, yeah. The rules of the world, that's what you follow. You want to survive, you have to go with the rules. I don't follow them. Oh, okay, mate, but we'll just talk for a bit first and maybe you'll come with to our round way of life. Maybe not. Okay, maybe right. Alright then. Fancy a drink? Calm yourself down a bit. Don't be a pussy, mate. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Polash, can you hear that? Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Life can't get any better, can it, John? What's up with you? You didn't give me the fucking order to kill that bastard, did you? Order? What order? Who do you want to kill? Who else? Can't let you kill him. John. We need the killing to be as slow and painful as possible. We need to cut them up into little bits and put them in body bags. <sighs> Can't do it fast and I'll let you kill someone. It's not yet. This weapon is yours. Can't let kill you with this. This is that what we need. It's that one. Here, John. This, slowly, sharply. Not for you. Let me tell you something now. When I go for my fucking kill, I am going straight to the top. I'll be back. You watch me. I'll be back. I'll have my kill. Yes, you Trust will. me. I'll have Try. my fucking kill. 
She's a laugh, mate. Crazy bitch. Hey, give me a fab before you go. Why did you kill our boy? Yeah, fucking, why did you fucking kill our boy? Ah, you want me to tell you why? Ah, you send a boy in my area. That's why he's dead. You don't send a boy in my area. Nobody fucking sends a boy in my area. Who's been tortured? Tortured? King of Dunstable. <laughs> he's underneath our feet now. It's getting oh, hot in here, man. Power. We see we got the power. Why don't you just join us and you'll taste the power that we have? Polish. You're our best friend, me and John go back way. Remember the early days when me and John did everything together? Stick with us, accept your proposal, you'll have everything in life. The three W's we used to always talk about. The woman, the wealth, and John? The wine. The wine. Which one do you want? No, I'm, I'm wondering why such powerful people like you, you know, are begging me. Here we go again. Why am I so necessary for you? <laughs> it makes me think that you're still scared of my pen, you know? It's just like, what? I think you still understand that the pen is still mightier than the sword. It's bullshit! Bullshit! Nothing is mightier than money. Money is power, right? You're still so stupid. Well, I stop writing that fucking emotional stuff. Look, get emotional again. Snap out of it, mate. Yeah? Your life's in danger. You stick with us, no one's gonna harm you. We need your creativity. We need your new gang. We need you to help us promote our gang to the top level. Oh, really? How can a person like me benefit you? I'm nothing to your power. I'm just an ordinary guy, man. Hey, Polash, you have talent, mate. Your creativity, you're so creative, you can come and help us in our gang. What are you talking about? <laughs> you can be everything we are. With you and us in our gang, we can be the tops. We can rule the kingdom. Everywhere we go, it will be us. Well, or oh, to stop my pen, eh? You're still a good actor, I tell you. How much money do you get from writing? Is that life? Well, isn't it? <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Nafis, please make him understand. If you keep writing that shit in the fucking papers, you're gonna get yourself fucking... <sighs> yeah, 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 kill him. Kill that bastard, yeah. And prior to that, tell him they only got one of my boys. Yeah, tell him I'll get ten of his next. Yeah, then fuck him off forever. Polash, the life you are leading is not a life that's bullshit. Join us now, you're fortunate that we're offering you this life now. But what if I don't want that life? Then die! Die!
Carlos. You okay? I, I can't. I can't go through with this, Mum. Then stop. Take a rest for a while, or a few days, and then start all over again. I'm tired. I'm tired, Mum. You tell me how many killings should be present in one novel. There's so much bloodshed everywhere. All the pages of my novel, they're just going to be filled with blood. I can't take this pain. Well, as you have to take this pain to change the society, my son. But will they let me finish the novel, I mean, in the end? Maybe, maybe not. But you shouldn't be afraid of that. This is a war, war against insanity. I don't want you to leave the battlefield. You should proceed with your research until you find the root of the insanity of this society. And then tell the world in your writing as much as you can. Thanks, Mum. Thanks. You're my energy. You'll be all right, my son. You'll be all right. I see the boys driving down the street at night. You can't see their faces. They come out with the knives. They, um, they got no respect for anybody over 25. That's why people my age don't come out at night. See, I get really mad about this sort of thing because uh, in my day, when I was young and growing up, you could leave your back door open because you knew all your neighbours, you knew everything was safe. And my dad is nearly 90, and he's just had his porch windows broken by somebody who was drunk. And it's just... I believe there's three rules of survival. Don't gross anyone up, don't give no one no cheek, and just don't ask no question. It is as quick and easy to kill with a knife as a gun. My son died with a one-step wound to the chest. Knife crime should be treated as same like gun crime. And government should be doing a lot more. The man who killed my son is serving 14 years in prison. It will never be the same as to what he did to me and to my family. I would rather prefer a life sentence than 14 years in prison. It's not fair. Knife crime should be treated as same like gun crime. I would rather prefer a life sentence than 14 years in prison. It's not fair. There's a majority of law-abiding citizens and there's a minority of troublemakers. If we took them off the streets, there'd be no crime. I think education is the key to this. But we've got to get them when they're young, like at nursery school. Because once they reach teenagers, it's too late. Killing is a joy. Killing is fun. The territory is mine now. It's mine. It's mine? Well, it's ours. At last yeah, those fucking ours. bastards are dead. Yeah, look at them. 
happy birthday. Happy birthday, boss. That last bastards are dead now, eh? Yes, we got rid of them. We are the king now. Yeah, look at them. Come on, let's go. Yes. Let's fucking throw those bastards, eh? Come on, let's go. They have created their own fortune. What can you do? It's okay. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god! 